Hello traders, so my trader here. Welcome to session 105. How to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. For those that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, and if you haven't watched my videos before, what I teach in these recordings, you can apply to basically any market, whether it be futures, forex, or stocks. As we get into the session, I do need to pull up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Don't trade that you can't, uh, well, I should say, don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Stay on the simulator until you're consistently profitable. Today, I'm going to be showing you a couple of things and going through a number of trades that perhaps are a little bit different to, to what I would normally do. But one thing I want to mention uh, is that you'll notice that in virtually every one of my sessions I'll quit once I hit a certain profit target so in this session I'm trading the uh, the four tick Renko on the NQ now my target on the four tick is $200 a day per contract if I'm trading the six tick I'm after $300 a day per contract and the reason for that I won't get into the math behind it but it's to do with capital requirements money that I need to allocate for trading the more money uh, I'm allocating the greater return on capital I'm after now you'll also notice that I talk about POQ that's the power of quitting once I hit my target I quit for the day and the reason being it's less stressful and it's all about living what I call the good life now if you're a young gun you may continue and wish to continue to trade for four or five hours I like to get in get out and get paid and you'll usually find that I'm wrapped up I've finished my trading within 15 minutes to maybe 60 minutes to 90 minutes maximum would sort of be my average trading session now in today's session also I'm going to be talking to you about scalping so stick around because I'm going to be showing you uh, where I was trading 10 uh, contracts taking five off at plus five and five off at plus seven uh, what I call five steps and seven steps I'll show you that in a moment but this is another one of my members uh, who scalps uh, he would do hundreds of trades in a day and instead of a Renko which I usually use uh, this particular member will use a range chart I won't go get into this here but it's better if I show you directly on the charts and explain in great detail my setups so in today's session I was actually trading 10 contracts now just to explain this I normally trade five contracts I don't trade a hundred I don't trade one I prefer to trade five if I am say in a position and it gets better I'll add to it or I have another setup occur whilst I'm already in a position I'll add another five contracts so at any one time this is on the NQ I will have a maximum amount of 10 contracts uh, on now I decided to do something a little bit differently here and I was talking to my members in the live trading room and the coaching room about this you see you'll see that scalping 10 ticks on the NQ is is very easy using my strategies as you're about to see so what I've done in this particular trading session I've gone in scalping five contracts off at 10 ticks which is $50 a contract and the balance I'm still going for my 16 ticks in fact um, 16 ticks is actually $80 per contract my apologies there so there's a bit of a typo there so that's what I was sort of going for you see it's so much easier to scalp and the great thing about scalping you're in and out very very quickly get in get out get paid that's really how I look at my trading I'm a scalper at heart I rarely will trail I will go for larger targets when I'm buying or selling into pivots which I'll actually show you uh, that today as well now what we do have to take in account with traders is the math behind it 
okay which is important that is say for an example and you can apply this to any market if we and and this is important by the way I know some of you might be saying okay let's get to the charts and we'll go over to the live charts in a moment as well but it's important that you consider the math behind your trading so if I'm going to scalp for 10 ticks that's five steps which I'll explain to you when you see the charts in a moment okay uh, here if I've got an 80% win loss ratio out of 10 trades which generally you'll get <laughs> well and truly within an hour uh, on the four tick okay and if I'm after 10 ticks okay so eight trades by 50 comes to $400 and if I have two losses by 16 ticks which is my stop loss usually it's a couple of ticks smaller but under certain circumstances it will be 16 ticks so I've just let's look at the worst case that's 160 my commissions are less than five dollars each but let's just round it up I think they're about four dollars twenty each let's round it up to five dollars so the bottom line is that if I've got an 80% win-loss ratio on a five tick scalp I'm netting $190 a day now this is where the math comes in if you're only netting 70% of your trades you're only netting 60% now what it comes down to and what really throws this out is this equation here if you've got a 16 tick stop and you're only targeting uh, 10 ticks of course you're way off there however if you've got an 80 to 90 percent win-loss ratio which I have on my scalps the bottom line is very good now if we then jump up we say we're going for just two ticks extra so on the 80 20 you're netting 270 or on a 70 percent ratio 130 now some of you may say or even be thinking why even scalp why not just go for the larger targets the if you're risking 16 ticks go for 16 ticks or greater now I know some traders will say why don't you go for two to one you know go for your 30 ticks if you're risking 16 ticks I'm a scalper I prefer to get in get out within minutes rather than waiting for and sometimes seconds rather than waiting for an hour or two it suits my trading personality but my setups you can apply to any time frame now what this really comes down to is the return on capital which I'm about to show you here and some of you I know may look at this and say let's go back to this one 190 200 a day per contract you, you know that's nothing well let me as you're about to see traders it makes you a great deal of money now let's have a quick look at this so on the charts here uh, we uh, my before commissions it was 2470 then after commissions 2052 we're going to go to the charts and I'll explain these trades so basically 40 minutes of trading uh, there I had nine trades in that time okay and once again I'm going to explain the setups and this is very very important because trading the easiest form of trading truly is pattern recognition geometric patterns that we see appear in the market each and every day now very quickly before we do get there if you haven't already just a very quick ad uh, please go down below and you can download my ebook for truth about day trading uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel also give me a big like please keeps me motivated but subscribe to my channel you'll be kept up to date with uh, all of my videos better still why don't you become a member as you're about to see everything I cover in these sessions you can obtain all of my uh, indicators all of the indicator settings I've got hundreds of hours of online videos mind you don't have to watch them all 15 of my best day trading strategies etc uh, etc et all only $197 and as a bonus you can also attend eight of my live and they are recorded private group coaching sessions 16 hours of private group coaching uh, and that includes handouts and powerpoints so every Tuesday and Wednesday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I run two-hour classes for 
for traders now that's included in your $197 make no mistake traders this is a gold mine it truly is now after your month one if you wish you can drop me an email and then continue the classes but that's totally optional you're not signing up for that initially now I'm going to quickly just talk to you about the return on capital because this is truly a business and as Stephen Covey says begin with the end in mind to begin with the end in mind means start with a clear understanding of where you want to go because that allows you to then basically traders put in steps an action plan now an action plan here is uh, as I was mentioning before is power of quitting now I think I mentioned that here did I yes I did up there <laughs> power of quitting I prefer to get in get out and so that means having a goal of how much I want to earn out of my trading now what I'm about to cover with you and when we go to the charts is a game changer the unfortunate part is most traders they want to get rich quickly when it comes to day trading it just doesn't happen there's so much BS on YouTube and on the internet about how to get rich quick trading that so many traders have developed a false expectation of what's true and what's real I'm about to show you how to really do it now how do you seriously earn an extra five thousand dollars a week well you trade 10 contracts by one hundred dollars per contract and just watch and, and see my win-loss ratio which are all based on patterns which humans are very good at learning patterns step it up with experience and three hundred dollars a day that's three thousand sorry what yeah 300 a day that's 3,000 a day but by starting small you're building both confidence and competence now to trade the market that I'm about to show you realistically to do it safely you need to have four thousand dollars now if you don't have that you start on the micro that's a that's the exciting thing now about learning how to day trade is that you can start with as little as four hundred dollars go for twenty dollars a day rather than two hundred dollars a day within 11 weeks 12 weeks you've now got your capital there using the markets money to now go over and start trading the big big contract so what it comes down to traders that you start off with four hundred dollars you're going for twenty dollars a day and you only start trading additional contracts once you double your money each time so you go from 400 to 800 you're trading two you go to 1200 you're trading three you're using the markets money none of this nonsense with this five and, and this is important two percent risk is all we have a risk where I see this nonsense five percent risk it's just a great way of destroying your potential day trading career now when we roll over to the 4,000 account we can now start trading the four tick Renko and we now up our returns to $200 a day and look where you potentially are in 12 weeks and once again you only start trading an additional contract each time you get a two uh, sorry four thousand dollars in your account now what is also very important here is we're talking about trading here right now the after hours market that is the markets open 23 hours a day Forex is 24 hours a day and if you're trading after hours you're trading a much slower market therefore you can trade with a lower or smaller stop loss and a smaller account for an example trading from say 6 p.m. Eastern through to about 3 a.m. Eastern you can be trading a four thousand dollar account but as we head into the New York session you will need six and eight thousand dollars per contract why you've got greater volatility therefore you've got to trade a higher time frame remember before I said if I'm trading a six tick I'm going for three hundred dollars a day well I'm trading a higher time frame but I'm also going for what I call larger moves and larger swings that's a bit beyond here but the bottom line is whether you need to have six thousand or eight thousand dollars in your account you start on the micro um, uh, and you make any, all the mistakes you're going to make on the simulator first then you go to the micro and you build from there 
now here it's taken us 24 weeks to get to a potential income of 10,000 a week that is the reality of day trading you can do this now I do have to say one thing here on the 24 weeks that's when you go live you may take six to ten weeks on the simulator before you're ready traders time's gonna pass anyway why not do this the right way and have financial freedom for life you work from home you work your own hours this is a reality you know get rich slowly now the next thing here is okay all right sounds good so far Ray but how do we get 200 a day well number one is our risk which I mentioned we never ever ever risk more than two percent of our account size which is eighty dollars okay so that's rule number one now if I'm scalping five steps which I was doing here in today's video I'm going for five and seven steps okay in fact I was going for a little more out of these trades but on the five I need to have five net trades a day after any losses okay to hit my 200 a day now we can already see what $200 a day means $200 a day trading 10 contracts uh, that's $10,000 a week trade that's a reality just $200 a day by 10 now you might say well, well hang on I need to have $40,000 to do that we've used the markets money to build our account to get there okay and this is where you've just got to sit back and say yes I can do this the biggest thing that holds traders back lack of discipline and lack of patience and self-belief so what we're going to do here is we need on average so if we go to the six step and I'm going to show you what that is in a moment you only need basically four net trades a day if you increase the time frame say up to 16 ticks you only need basically three trades a day but let me show you that on the charts now I want to try to keep this uh, within 35 minutes but let me quickly go here now first of all what we've got to be checking regularly where are our pivot levels now all of these levels here um, you can we, we have indicators or you can get indicators for virtually any trading platform that will plot these automatically and the best part is they're free and I'll show you some of these on the chart when I get there okay but all of these become price magnets and the reason they're so reliable is professional traders we trade directly into these levels so what we're now going to do let's get to the charts and go through and let me teach you uh, how to day trade the right way now what I've got here this is the NQ little pause in had to have some water this is the NQ four tick so what it means here uh, these candles are actually called bricks Renko candles are actually in Japanese apparently means brick uh, from the load of a high of these bricks is four ticks so on the NQ a tick is worth five dollars there are four ticks to a point which is twenty dollars now I talk about steps because they look like you're stepping up so on this time frame each step is worth uh, ten dollars okay so to net two hundred dollars a day I need 20 of these a day after any losses and after any commissions that's the best way of putting it I just need to scalp 20 of these and you are free for life now remember I mentioned about the pivots and by the way I do have to say this okay the only place in the world where success comes before work is in the dictionary so I, I've got to be careful in, in how I say this the setups are patterns you can easily learn those but you've got to apply what I teach very important 
and I should say obvious but unfortunately so many people just want to get there without putting any screen time I give you the setups for training uh, but what you got to do is put the screen time in all right enough of that let's get to this remember a few minutes ago I mentioned about the pivots here well, I've got a pivot bounce I've got some divergence here for me I've got a beautiful reversal trade by the way now I'm not quite trading yet so you'll see when my trades kick in in a moment so here I'm not trading at this stage but if I was and for members watching this you know what you've got one there now see the white paint bars you don't take all of these but basically nearly all of these are entry signals okay and look your best reversal trades will generally come uh, off pivot bounces see this here this is a pivot uh, you've got a pivot there you've got a pivot there and that's a 200 EMA all of these areas as you're about to see we bounce look at this here see how we bounce see how we're bouncing off that uh, watch and see what happens down here soon okay they don't bounce all the time but uh, but you get an entry signal when you do get a proper bounce but anyway we're coming down okay so here if I was trading live I just had another uh, re-entry signal now here we're going straight through the pivot but I didn't get an entry signal so what you're looking for is when you bounce do I have an entry and like here right here I've got an entry signal this is actually called a 200 EMA overshoot but I've got an entry signal right there for members watching it yes it is a t3 as that was a t3 so these are rules based entries so you had an entry here and you had an entry here and you even had as you can see there some divergence okay so now we rally up so right here I get a pullback and I've got a trade entry now when I take a trade I want to uh, enter a trade my stop loss ideally goes one tick below the swing now thanks to modern trading platforms when you enter a trade your stop loss is placed automatically along with your targets now when I exit a trade or go to break even that is once I'm up so many ticks I want to go to break even at plus five steps which is 10 ticks for all my contracts so if I'm trading five contracts or 10 whatever I want to get to break even now there is a slight disadvantage to that sometimes then it'll hit you five come down stop you out and then continue but you know what that's trading but in the long term it keeps me on the right side of a ledger that is if for an example just here I'm looking at the pivot thinking am I going to go back up there and retest that high well here traders I went up there both contracts that is I had 10 contracts on long five I want to take off at plus five and up here I'm out and the other five I'm out over here so remember once I hit five steps which is $250 on five contracts my second five also a break even and I then get stopped out of those and the market reverses but look what happened by doing that by getting out at plus five it also stopped me from getting stopped out on my second lot of contracts now I cover all of this comprehensively in my training it's quite easy once you understand and in fact for members watching that there or watching that there watching this video this is a t10 of course and you had some great divergence now as we come down we're expecting a bounce where either off my 200 or off a pivot and bang I now have my second entry and away we go I went to uh, break even I'm out there and I get out uh, there on all my contracts okay I hit plus did I hit plus seven one two three four five six seven there I'd actually got in nice and early and I got filled on all of my contracts here I had a loss I jumped in my EMAs are trending uh, up it's looking good I'm thinking of going up there and retesting the high and on trade number three I get stopped immediately on that trade 
that happens and this is where when it comes to trading you've got to learn to think in probabilities of 20 trades you see with the individual one trade anything can happen trade trading can be random someone with a fat finger I can have a perfect setup and someone on the other side goes against me with massive accidental short position and stops me out so one trade means nothing to me I'm thinking in 20 trades I believe and trade in the law of probabilities we've got to learn to trade like a casino if you go into the casino and say if you go to the baccarat table they'll have a table limit that is the maximum amount of bets on that table or you can wager and that's when it comes to our money management we never risk more than two percent so you've got that there but do we see them changing their their rules of trading baccarat because they've had three or four losses in a row that is the house has losses of course not they know that over a certain amount of can I call them trades <laughs> uh, bets that they know that the probabilities are in their favor the same applies here so this is where we say okay let's move on stopped out of that one mind you we've just had a couple of nice winning trades we get stopped straight away on this trade now we come down and now I've got most traders know I've got a well, my members know I've got a t10 let's take this short so I'm going to take this short and what have I got down below me see whenever we take a trade we always say to ourselves do I have blue skies ahead and what do I mean by blue skies uh, say if I didn't have a pivot here I didn't have this pivot here like look over here if we had a trade here that's what I call blue sky you've got no major support or resistance in this case no resistance in front of me okay that's blue sky here in selling short here I've got a pivot I've got a cam pivot what else is below us aha uh -huh. now it's getting interesting I've got plenty of blue sky uh, once I get beyond there so I'm going to short right here this is trade number four so as I come down of a pivot you'll quite often see where I'll cover a trade at the pivot and what I mean by that I will go flat I'll take my profits why because of this you'll see that we bounce off the 200 we're bouncing off pivots we see this every day traders so therefore I'll take profits quite often at this level I'm a scalper get in get out get paid now as we're coming up that is as we're bouncing here look at my EMAs what's that telling me looks like we're rolling over this is where I'm also looking at my anchor charts what information is my or are my anchor charts telling me that is the higher time frame I'm looking for it as I pull up pull up now my super scalper plots and I now have trade number five thank you very much and down I come okay and we come down I get a bit of a bounce now because I've hit five steps I may have got out uh, how many did I have there my entry one two three I've actually covered all of my contracts I'm out but immediately I have another trade entry how do I know I'm getting a bounce off my EMAs I've got my super scalper entry and down I go again now what's below me this is where we've got to be cautious here because I've got a pivot down below if I can break that pivot I've got all this blue sky however we know that as we come down the pivots will quite often there it is there bang I get a bounce lo and behold but note here bounced off a pivot bounced off a pivot yes you could have ridden that out if you choose if you chose to I prefer to get out and look for another entry get out look for another entry that works for me others when you get these rollovers 
here we actually call this point a t20-1 this is where if you've got a t20-1 and across below the 200 you're much more likely to get a larger move at least in the short term anyway so now I've got another potential trade now in taking this trade I had some nice divergence I'm looking up here at my major EMAs and why am I looking up here and I've got a pivot because they're rolling over this one is actually a counter trend trade so in taking a CT trade I'm expecting a bounce automatically somewhere in this region why because it happens every day we see the patterns every day traders okay so I get this bounce I'm off a pivot and let's look for an exit once again I'm going to go to break even excuse me for my moment sorry about that got a bit of a cold at the moment so I'm going to automatically go to break even at plus five steps automatically my trading dome will take me to black to break even okay it just makes it so much easier coming up coming up and now I'm at break even I'm covering all of those contracts and now I've got trade number eight so now I've got another short now I want you to to look at this here you can see the timing down here you've got minutes to react to these now if this time frames too too fast for you you can increase this to a five or a six tick which makes it slower again but this is over from there to there that's five minutes traders you've got plenty of time once you understand in particular the super scalper plotting okay it makes trading a lot easier all right so right here I've got trade number eight now I'm looking down below I do have a pivot once again I've bounced once so I'm thinking okay I might even get a bounce again now remember I'm watching what's happening on my dome it's telling me where I am profit wise so as I'm coming down here I'm thinking I'm going to get out here I'm going to cover my trade and take profits okay so now I've covered and I'm out of all those contracts why I know that when I come down to certain pivots there's a very good chance I will get a bounce or a reversal what I want you to notice is how these plot automatically on our charts now I've got trade number nine setting up now I've got on the higher time frames we can't see it here but I've got great divergence and I'm now looking at a pullback once again up here now my entry was up here where's my stop loss go one tick below now see how this actually come down now it's still within a couple of ticks but this is where we've got to make sure our stop loss is placed in the right position and up we go for members watching this little t10 there as well if you missed that and then I'm out and I cover all of my contracts at that point okay we're out so that was nine trades for eight wins one loss in 40 minutes all of these patterns you can see are rules based geometric patterns okay now so initially what you're learning is is you're looking for EMA bounces you're looking for pivot bounces and bounces off other key zones now you can go onto the internet and watch videos about key zones they're so discretionary and you watch some of these oh here's a support zone uh, the great thing with pivots these plot and the calculations are automatically done for you and by the way let's just see what happens here for a moment what I mean by that here is another trade entry okay you've got another one I've got a higher high high low thank you very much higher high there was another potential entry thank you very much now the, how do I identify these on the NQ it's very easy with the super scalper okay 
uh, and if you've got a trading platform I've got the scalper for, for most platforms it's a simple pattern that sets up makes it very very easy so the bottom line here is traders you can master this okay this is not rocket science it's about getting the screen time in watching my training videos attending the lessons now I'll give you full email support when you're in by the way when you're in the coaching sessions you can type in questions okay um, uh, so therefore I can answer them straight away uh, for you but in my coaching sessions I'm not only teaching you the setups but money management the psychology of trading in fact you'll discover that 90% of trading is, is about head stuff it's about the psychology 5% is a setup and 5% is money management so traders why don't you come and join me in my classes um, there's no need to spend thousands of dollars in learning how to trade uh, and as I've mentioned you can get going um, now trading micros with actually as little as $250 if you trade say the Russell or the Dow but around 400 if you're going to trade the NQ so thank you traders this is session 105 and I look forward to seeing you in my classes Thanks, traders.